Good morning. Doing a little bit of tractor work today. Today we are mowing around the edge of some of our fields. This actually is my ground right here by Withers Mill. And we're doing this so that A, new trees don't come up, and B, maybe I can crank just a couple more rows out of the whole field and that'll be that many more bushels of beans or corn towards my bottom line. Well, I got that little place done. Now I'm gonna head down to the road to the new farm that we just bought. Also, that's a very, very cool barn right there. Can't really see it, but super, super cool. And there's only actually like 16 and a half-ish tillable acres there at that farm. So every extra bushel of beans that I can get off of that place helps my bottom line. Yeah, there's some uh, kind of bad erosion right there. You can see it's got kind of a red color to it almost. That's because there's been so much topsoil eroded away from this spot over the years that it's exposed the uh, clay and the uh, underlying soil structures. Well, I had to run back home real quick to fuel back up because I was at like 10% fuel. So I was like, yeah, not going to chance it. But uh, I'm going to finish up mowing and I'm going to try and sell one of my pickups today. Asking price is $3,500 if you're interested. Seatbelt on. The seatbelt and warning lights and the safety equipment are in this thing for a reason. Please use them and please be careful on the highway. I need to get around to making my seatbelt story video, but that will probably be a couple videos down the road. So yeah, there's just like a group of trees randomly in the field. And you know that they didn't just appear overnight. I see stuff like that and you're like, really guys? Like, all you had to do is like, cut it down when it was little or just like, run over it. Here's a little oddity right here. Something is wrong with that little spot that made not even weeds grow in it. Most of this ground here is going to be a uh, goldingered. And by that, I mean, we're taking a dozer to it and we're building terraces so that we can farm more of it. Because when you buy ground, if it costs X dollars per acre, that's for every single acre on the property. And if we can farm more of the acres, that produces more income. I'm holding my phone level right now, so that should tell you about how steep this is. And now it's telling me that the coolant level is low because it's not sitting low. There we go, that's better. Okay, whatever. That's extremely steep. Well, got this another grass patch mowed off. Some of these trees back here, like that one, have uh, blue paint marks on them because the grandpa is having loggers come back here and take some of these trees off. The thought process behind that is if, again, if we can get some additional income off of these acres that we're going to clean up, why not? That right there is a sinkhole. We're going to attempt to drain it or at least make it not so big. In a dry year, we may even be able to farm through the sinkhole, but that's all dependent upon is there rain and is there a lot of it. Sometimes sinkholes will dry up and you can just farm straight through them. But like I've said before, these past couple years have not necessarily been on the dry side. I decided to go ahead and mow the uh, kind of the road ditch here again, just to make it look nice. Missouri farmer, where you at? I'm gonna shut her down for just a minute. I gotta check my tire pressure. And if you've watched this channel enough, you know that checking your tire pressure is metric for I have to go pee. I'm gonna use the uh, men's restroom that's located right here by the fender. Goodbye, little tree. On this farm that I'm uh, mowing here, we've got probably at least two and a half miles of uh, pretty good size uh, fence row to take out and that's why we got a bigger dozer the 1050k i texted our guy rock and rob we're gonna and he's running the dozer right now and we're gonna go check it out and see what's going on this may not make it into the video but i about flipped over the mower because I cut the corner a little short and it got tipping a little too far this way and then it kind of tipped over and gouged itself out and there in the dirt and i'm glad it flipped over the right way because that would have not been fun there it is moving quite a bit of dirt the 
ripper shanks on the back of that thing go like three feet in the ground. That's to help tear out all these roots here and uh, shatter the compaction that's been, that the dozer's created. Because that thing weighs probably over 100,000 pounds. In a pretty short time, all the trees that were here are now right there and over there. Because that thing can do so much in such a small amount of time. He about sent the dozer down into the ditch, but I doubt that thing will get stuck. Yeah, that dozer rocks. We had a 1050J uh, before, we still have it, but uh, the 1050K, that can move a mountain in not that much time. And I know Grandpa intended maybe to sell it after we were done, but may we may keep it because that thing rocks. Holden, I don't know if you watched these videos, but now you're featured in one. Okay, done with thing on to the next.